Hey everybody, wanted to do a quick video and show the uh, <clears throat> alterations I made to the uh, rocket heater. Um, you see right here from the uh, previous videos, uh, I cut the uh, I cut that opening up a little bit bigger. Let's see if I can get out of there. It's all black, so it's a little hard to see. But anyway, uh, I cut that open so I could get a little bit better. Um, uh, feed thing going and get a little bit more air. The other thing I did is I tacked a nail right here and uh, stuck a socket on there just for a spacer. And now what I can do is uh, I can adjust my airflow real easy. I can swing it over right over the top and, and get a nice hot fire going. Depending on the type of uh, stuff I'm burning, like uh, like this mulch. When I'm burning this mulch and I, it's fresh, it's real wet, so it takes a lot more air. But now I'm burning this uh, um, this pine stuff right there, and that's a reclaimed old fence, and uh, and that takes very very little air. It burns real easy. So and it's see if I pull this right out of the way, I get a nice draft all by itself. So anyway, that's the uh, that's the adaption or the uh, modification that I made, and uh, tonight's the first night uh, I'm going to try this out. So we'll uh, we'll play around with it, see how it works. Now I've had a lot of people say that, oh hey, you need to uh, you need to raise your your flu up higher, and I agree with you, um, but uh, in this case, um, what I'm trying to do. Is, uh, is keep everything to a minimum. Now if I run that all the way up, I'm gonna have to buy lots of pipe and get that stack up above the uh, peak of the roof. And, and yes, the, the, uh, um, the best thing is to have your exhaust or your cap two feet above anything 10 feet around. That's the way it should be. But I'm trying to do things a little different with what I have and, uh, and try to get by without, uh, without buying all that pipe and stuff. Again, everything that I try to do is, uh, is, is either reclaim and repurpose things or uh, use what you have um, rather than just going out and buying, you know, uh, something. So I, I'm repurposing everything that I have to make things work with uh, trying to keep it uh, as low cost as possible. So, so anyway, there you go. There's the, uh, there's the uh, adapter, adaption I've made. All right, uh, I know uh, from uh, some of the videos that I've made that uh, some of you guys are building one of these. Um, just uh, keep in mind when you're building the front end of this, you want to keep it adaptable. Uh, I'm sure every application is going to have its own little set of parameters that you're going to have to work with. So um, uh, keep the front end of this um, uh, adaptable so you can change it and work with it. Um, the inside. Uh, I don't think anything has to be done on the inside. If you built yours just like I built mine, you should be fine. So refer back to some of the older videos and you'll see exactly how this is put together on the inside, um, step by step. All right, thanks a lot for watching, and you guys have a good day. We'll see you on the next video.